Good all Mega Smash Mondays Online Edition, man. So, I'm actually very interested to see how uh, registration and uh, the play is going to look like this week uh, after the Invitational that happened. Seems like a lot of people kind of got a, a extra pep in their step after that. Kind of seeing that level play and really seeing what uh, can happen with this. These latest uh, patches that we got, man, these past two patches have definitely been a godsend for the, the scene, especially with the uh, online not being as great as it can be. Like, you know, the fact that the game got better is always going to be a beautiful thing for everyone, right? So I'm really excited to see what people are going to do just to, after seeing all those players, you know, that great roster go through stuff in that way. Yeah, like you said, having that extra pep in your step is kind of like a positivity boost in terms of mentality. That's the beautiful thing about the Invitational, right? Some of the best players around the world get to play with the best players. They get to skip the initial of like, oh, I lost to like so-and-so who, you know, may or may not be within my play stop. And while they do get to skip that, I do think that it's it's also a positivity boost for them all in general. Like, now we get to see MKLL versus Tweak, you know, in an online setting, even though, you know, it wasn't necessarily something that we used to offline. I'm sorry, online, but it's just good to see all together that something like the Invitational is something that I felt like community was hoping to see finally happen, you know, without further, uh, oh, sorry, someone connected and disconnected, and that's, that's, that's right, but good to see either way. Yeah, no, for sure, man, uh, and also people, I mean, look, uh, I think that you shouldn't just holistically think that the, the meta should be defined by what these top players do, but of course, they're going to have certain knowledge, there's a reason why they're top players. And there's certain skill sets, and so to see them kind of thrive and see the different matchups and stuff, it can give people an inkling on how things can operate at a high level play and what things are solid strategies and great tactics and great buffs versus being like gimmicky or you know marginal buffs and everything like that too. So I think it's really good to have something like that in that showcase because it really motivates people to find more things to really be more invested. Yes, 8.0 was the the strongest. Uh, patch that we've had thus far in terms of just sheer changes to characters toolkits but there's been some characters that got some nice little buffs here and there too uh, prior to that and I, I feel that some of those characters just weren't really looked at as being quality characters uh, because people weren't investing in it people were still in the you know you're playing to win and you know top players aren't going to invest time in that and so you're just not going to see those characters as much because it's time for them to play. Like, perfect example, she got those buffs, and we saw some she coming out of Void, but at the end of the day, Void's got to, you know, he's trying to win these tournaments, right? So, you know, you see, you see him end up switching back to Pichu a bit more and all those kind of things, but during this time period where people have been not doing tournaments, people have been able to sit back and go into the lab and really explore and see the depth of some of these changes that we may have written off, which is really cool. Yeah, I think uh, before, and that's, you know, speaking of changes, it's good to see that the changes are more positive all around. I'm very hesitant to say, like, they're all positive. Like, I, I don't think Captain Falcon needed that much of a buff, but that's just my personal taste. Uh, when it comes down to changes all around, I think it's just really good to see that, like, Corrin is back to Smash 4 core, if not better. But like you said, right, Sheik is on the verge of becoming what she originally was. So seeing that those buffs happen is really good, but also it's good to know that, like, yes, Void sees those buffs. He knows how to put in the work. But at the end of the day, right, if, those, if he knows those buffs are not enough, just like MKLeo, MKLeo knows those Marth buffs were not enough. They're on their step towards the right direction. So. Yeah, they're, they're definitely a step forward towards the right direction. I mean, I, I think Sheik's are, have been pretty good and substantial, and so I'm very happy to see that. Yeah, Marth, unfortunately, I, I think he's going to need a bit more, man. Um... I mean, consistency on certain things is going to be great uh, in terms of Errol, especially a bear. Um, I, I think when people are more invested in time too with reaction bear to cover options and edge guarding and stuff, that will be a stronger tool, but it's still harder um, for Marth. Uh, and he doesn't have, he, he's a character archetype that has been in this game for, you know, series for a very long time now in a, in a very stronger capacity. So it's, it's hard to uh like if your character is like doing okay and it's something that people are studied against they're gonna clap you up you know and i, I think <laughs> that's one thing that leo already even sees too so that's why he's probably like frustrated with the character um especially because of the damage output and then again still some better consistency but not enough holistically especially in comparison to what some of these other characters can do so it is what it is 
Yeah. Yo, Fatality was gone, bro, by the way. I, I came in, I, I, so I had to drive super fast to get back home so I could do commentary for that thing. And I feel like I turned on the stream and then Fatality was already out. And I was like, what happened, man? I mean, Captain, <laughs> Captain Douglas J, like, he got the buffs with the buffs, man. Like, some people were screaming out that he might be freaking top. He's like, he's, well, people definitely see him as high tier, but some people were saying, like, he may be uh, inching towards that top tier, man, and then all of a sudden he just gets clapped, so. Yeah, I think it's, it's probably, like, one of the facts that, like, he has to... I don't know, it's tough. It's, this is probably a conversation with Raph in the match that I want to talk about, like, his character is the way they might fit. Noble looking to fit himself really good with the down smash already against Viri. Sorry, I'm trying to see the tag and match the name here. I'm assuming J Mafia is the Rob. Wait, oh my gosh, why didn't it show to me that you were, like, this screen? <laughs> oh my goodness. I was just spamming this whole time. I was just waiting for the stream to come up. It usually just automatically tells me it's live. Oh, <laughs> oh there you have it. Alright. Yep. So you can see now. So, uh, J Mafia is a, a Yoshi main, but I guess this matchup's not good for Yoshi. So he's playing this Yoshi me thing. Dude, I, oh my gosh, man, I, <laughs> I get so upset whenever I see people play the Yoshi me, because it always takes me a split second to realize that it's a me and it's not actually Yoshi. Yeah, I was watching on the stream, I was like, oh, okay, it's Yoshi versus Rob. And then I, I, I came here, I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> then he did like a, he yeah, did like, and he's like, and he's like, like doing all up. these moves, I'm like, what the heck? This ain't right. I'm mad yeah. that it actually looks this much like Yoshi. This might actually be the best me costume that's like, you know, a character. That's the, fun that's the funniest thing, too. It is not only a Yoshi costume, but it is the carpet Yoshi. The Yoshi color, which we oh, don't like. Dead. Yeah, he's gone. Wow. All right. Uh, well, okay. All right, I'm going to keep it a buck with you guys. I'm rooting for J Mafia purely because Viri beat Joel. And I really wanted to see Joel in top 24 winners. So, uh, yeah, let's go, Jay Mafia. My Joel is in, um... Scizor. Damn, man. Really? He's got bopped? It was 2-1. Young Joel, dude? He's still... <laughs> of course he is. He's always upset, dude. Always complaining, complaining. Something happened to him. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> of course he got robbed, dude. You play freaking Link. Rob someone else, dude. Come on, man. He even said it. I'm pissed. I got robbed. He says it right oh there. Oh my the gosh. Yeah, welcome to War 101. You ever hear someone in war be like, oh, I got robbed? It's battle, baby. Welcome to the real world. The heck? No, <laughs> bro, I got you robbed. Play with, play with honor. No, you you didn't get robbed. Your pockets were open. <laughs> how about you? How about that? <laughs> how about that? Oh, he, oh. Ah, he, he hit you with the nares, he dropped side B, and you just got clapped. <laughs> Bro, what, are you, what do you mean? That's the that's literally the rob. That's the one thing you can't get hit by. Yeah, come on, bro. Like that's 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 like literally the the if you need to know anything about the matchup, that's where you you stay away from that one thing. Like you see them get the, <laughs> the gyro, you you don't just stand like, there. You die as zero, come back, and they got the gyro in their hand. It starts z dropping. Like you already know, just. Don't even be over there. What? Yeah. <laughs> Just throw a boomerang or something. Like, what? Yo. Oh, anyway. Yo. Anyway. Anyway. Game, game three. Game three. He switched to Yoshi because you know that me probably got the game, and it's time to go your, your main though. You know. Yep. Even if this, this match is probably bad in his opinion, I, I don't know. I, I have yeah. to think that it's hard because why else would he not go Yoshi to you know? Yeah, Rob still can definitely evaluate characters like Yoshi, where like. He can not only be a pretty solid boxer, but also just have really good projectile game to keep Yoshi out. So in the in the close quarters combat scenario, Rob kind of has like a really good time against Yoshi. And in the far range, the, oh god, never mind. <laughs> Mobile says whatever the range was. Oh, you're are you dead. All right, hold on. I've never seen that move kill in my life. Yeah, welcome to the real world, dude. <laughs> Omelet. <laughs> can you imagine you got shot by a shotgun? And you're like, I've never seen a shotgun kill in my life. Dude. Yeah, I mean, I honestly feel that Yoshi didn't do that bad in this matchup. I'm very surprised that he didn't go Yoshi um, beginning. I mean, because, yeah, close range, of course, we're obviously going to have his like, crazy, insane down tilt and stuff, too. But um, having that uh, 
Like double jump armor is always going to be nice. Yoshi has one of the better out of shield games, uh, period. And so that combo game too on a character class like Rob, like Yoshi's going to get so much damage, right? So that's yeah. gonna be like a really, really great thing. And this is a lot of ways where like people don't like Rob pulling down on them with Nair, but Yoshi can literally just up smash the crap out of that, right? Or just yeah. get kind of the shield and then get some. We pressure. also, we also just saw him literally time his double jump armor to beat Nair. Like, he literally just jumped into him yeah. while yeah. taking taking the Nair. I mean, that's exactly oh. what I was talking about. Yeah, get off me. <laughs> the verbatim. So. Get, get off me. I don't know where you think you're landing. You're literally like 10 feet tall. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> that's boots. Yeah, like, I honestly feel like Yuri's actually trying to fight him too much. I mean, he's, he's getting blown up. If I'm being yeah. right. Yep, oh, look at that. Great carry. Carry. Yeah, that was a great carry. Damn it. Alright, this guy said I got Z-drop combos now. It's my turn for now. Yeah, damn. Yo, oh yeah, he's trying to rock. Yo, oh, yeah, that, you know what? That, that's what I thought to the guy, dude. Yeah, Yuri is definitely a robber, dude. He's actually, he's actually, he's just playing the character, bro. You, no, I'm actually, you're, you're no, to no. Rob, Rob. Why would Rob not Rob? Come on, dude. Like, get, get with the name. Thing. It's literally yeah, dude. Dude, he's the hero of subspace. Don't ever disrespect him. Watch out. Okay, he wasn't faced the right way. Yeah. Alright, there's a gyro. No, he didn't grab it. What the heck? Oh, oh that was such a big call out, dude. Yeah. That was nice. Yeah. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna have to go with my new theory. 